Today's postcard is from Carnarvonshire. From a very big castle to the smallest house, we're in the town, the borough of Conwy. Now, are we absolutely sure this is the smallest house in Great Britain? Yes, it's in the Guinness Book of Records, authenticated by the Guinness Book of Records. It's been the smallest house in Great Britain. We don't say the world, because that's too difficult. <laughs> yeah, there might be a mud hut yes. somewhere that you don't know about. <laughs> that's quite right. But it yeah. is absolutely tiny. Now, the reason we're doing the interview out here is that basically, <laughs> um, Chris, the camera, and us, we couldn't all get in. Mm -hmm. We really couldn't. And yet, I read something on the wall that the last inhabitant, apart from an elderly couple, was a six foot three fisherman. That's quite correct. He was six foot three. He lived here for 15 years and moved out in 1900 when the house was condemned for living. Why did they condemn it? No toilet. Thanks, Phyllis. Now, from the serene Phyllis Pritchard to the ever enthusiastic Neville Hortop at the castle. Neville, what was life like for a soldier in here? Were there ever many here? Uh, amazingly, only 30. And this always staggers the people who come to the castle when they ask that question. Again, only 30 in Harlech and uh, Carnarvon because the Welsh in those days hadn't gone to towns or, or large villages. As you know, they looked after sheep on the hills, they had their um, digging for copper in the mountains, and they tended to live in, in small hamlets. So a local uprising could easily be held in check with the 30 soldiers that were here. Should it be uh, on a vaster scale, such as Owen Glendar in 1400, then obviously massive reports um, reinforcements would pour down from Chester etc but normally 30 but the story of the bridges is, is rather uh, tremendous because there were none to start with and I find it difficult to believe they waited 600 600 years before they dreamt about building a bridge then Thomas Telford as you know built the Caledonian Canal in Scotland then he built this long causeway across the river to this tiny island and this wonderful suspension bridge <laughs> 